Have you ever had a prayer answered by God that you didn't even know you were praying? In Matthew 7, Christ tells us, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Well, I was seeking. I wasn't praying. I was seeking. But God knew because I had been seeking a very long time. See, I was racked with guilt. The majority of my adult life, I've been racked with guilt over a mistake I made at the cusp of adulthood. A mistake that I had managed to live through and by using verses like, today is the day the Lord has made, rejoice and be glad in it. And I can do all things through Christ. These verses got me through difficult times. But see, I got pregnant at 17. And I married the father of my child. I had the first child at 18. Had my second daughter at 19. And at the ripe old age of 22, I was getting a divorce on the grounds of physical abuse. And the courts, in their infinite wisdom, gave him full visitation rights. And it was 10 years, 10 years before I could get them to change those visitation rights. So my guilt was over what was happening to my children. And as they have grown, as they have gotten older and matured, I've watched one of them stumbles down a dark path after dark path. Occasionally she heads into the light and back down a dark path. And every time this happened, I felt this guilt over what I had done to my children. And I became obsessed. If I could only just go back in time and change it, I would. Now we all do that, we all think these things. But I became obsessed. I figured out the exact point in time to go back to. That if I did something different at that point, said something different at that very time, I could sever that relationship between my children and their father. And I was convinced I could fix it that way. Well, God got tired of the reruns because I kept playing this movie over and over in my mind. Every time something went wrong, oh, if I could only go back in time. I literally, I'm not kidding, I was obsessed. That in itself is a sin. And God said, you know what, Barbara, I can't send you back in time, but I can send you two more children. And he sent my two grandchildren to come live with me last November. Victoria's five, Amari, 18 months. And I was like, hot diggity, I get a chance to do it right this time. I've got a great husband now, I've got a home, I've got the income, I'm more mature, I know how to do this right. But I forgot something. <laughs> Parenting is hard. <laughs> and I have fibromyalgia, which I had under control. But that meant I had to rest occasionally. 18 months old, five, months, five years old, no rest, no rest. And my husband does extradition for the sheriff's office. He would travel occasionally. The first week those children were with me, he was gone the entire week. And every week he was gone, he was gone, he was gone. So I was single parenting again. And all of a sudden I realized I had done the best I could with those children when I raised my daughters. And I really wanted to be grandmother. And God blessed me in this so many ways. First of all, valuable time with my grandchildren. Wonderful conversations with Victoria about who God is, about what God made. But the most important thing he did is he said, Barbara, I removed your guilt a long, long time ago. I have plans for you, plans for your welfare, not disaster, to give you hope, to give you a future. Trust me, take that guilt that's laying in your heart, let it go. Take it out, lay it down at my feet, and let it go. And I have never wished to go back in time again. Mm -hmm. He took it from me. He answered my prayer, and he can do that even when we don't know to pray, because he's always there. We just lay it down at his feet and we walk with him and he will take care of us.